Right, another small video. I've climbed up the steps, taken loads of photos of all the beautiful bluebells and wild garlic. And then looking out over this lush field over to the Velvet Bottom Valley, I can see also delayed bluebells coming out really like it's June now. They, they norm it's normally end of April, May. But look at all that. And I, I think on the Mendips, where I normally go by Rowbarrow, that will probably be one big purple haze over there as well. Everything's delayed this year because of the weather's been peculiar. Freaky even. But you can see, you can see them all in here. I've take, tried to take shots of different ones. I've just come up there. The little bench is in need of repair. It's uh, a bit of wobbly, somebody very big sat on that and it's caused it to collapse a bit but that, going down there, that is just lush now I'm going to walk through this little pixie lane with the elves, dwarves, pixies, Rome and all around me there they've hung on for me I mean, they really have and every now and again you get some nice little pink flowers thrown in but the bluebells really are only just hanging on but you can smell the garlic it's intoxicatingly nice by the way it's beautiful garlic at the moment I bet someone will come around the corner because I said at the moment there's someone about it's lunch time you see English people are very tied to their times for food so they, uh, some people would have gone out early to get round here, I mean some people were at half eight apparently starting this walk I didn't get out here to ten yeah it is, it's, it is just starting to fade now all, what would happen now rain is coming starting tomorrow I don't know how fierce it will be but what happens once they've done their display I've come up here when it's been a washout and all the plants are dead and they look all gooey where they've collapsed. So at the moment we're, we've been very, very lucky. I've really wanted to come out here and, and to walk here to feel the warm sunshine, the blue sky, hear the birds singing, smell the wild garlic and see the beautiful canopy of white and blue a little place for someone to sit see and look at that though it's just so gorgeous isn't it I've really really I haven't been out here on the display for two years no it'd be about two years And that first time I seen it, well, I was overpowered. I was overwhelmed with it. And it was really, really at its peak then. I mean, there's more stinging nettles grown up now. It is still there, but it's not what I call, you know, you've got the pixels. The stinging nettles are starting to come up and all that sort of thing. But it is beautiful. We just look at this little scene here. You've got the bluebells, there's a wasp on it. You've got the wild garlic, you've got, you know. And every now and again there is this beautiful pink flower that surfaces. This is supposed to be hot, the hottest day today of uh, this little spell. So my, where I live in Western Supermare, it'll be heaving, heaving. People go out in their cars, they take over our lovely lawns at Western. It just becomes one big car park. That's how I describe Western, because um, what it is, they let loads of cars on the beach. They let them on the lawns. So Western really is just a car park. A seaside car park. <sighs> yeah, I never, I never hang around. It's not my scene. <sighs> not my scene. <sighs> it's 
beautiful isn't it I've done this walk loads of times folks well, and without the blue bus but it's a different year it's the 1st of June 2021 I forgot to change one of my calendars over I have to do it when I get back oh. I've nearly drunk one I think I have drunk one bottle of water that leaves me two left which is fine because once I've done Longwood I turn back as if going back to Cheddar you see and these are these pink flowers and when before the grasses and the stinging nettles grow and it's just the, the wild garlic and the bluebells and the pink flowers it's amazing but the other the other plants are now starting to emerge as well big time there's a lovely little plant I'll take a picture over and out Right, another bit of video. They are really pretty, these pink flowers. I mean, they've more or less done it their bit, really. But look how lovely they are. But they're going a bit droopy now. But they really do add to the, the lovely area, isn't it? All across here. All down this little pixie lane that I'm going down. You can imagine the little fairies and elves dancing along here. And then... You'll get the badgers and the foxes and other little mice and you'll get the owls hooting and the nightingales singing and and then of course you could get um, foxes and badgers as well looking for food. Could you not? The strength of the aroma from the well garlic here. Oh, that's beautiful. If you don't like garlic you wouldn't be able to walk, do this walk. If this is beautiful it's a lovely little sunspot here hardly a bluebell in sight now here once the leaves start going yellow as well we've only got to have a bit of rain soon and that this will be a mass of mushy yellow and the flower is gone and that's I've seen it like that and that's I don't like it actually seeing it when it goes like that but that's what happens they the rain if it's heavy rain it'll flatten them and then the the yellow leaves they also go mushy you know of course this time last year that one of the reasons I couldn't come out here I didn't have a car I didn't have any, any public transport and it was stopped you could get fined you see so I couldn't come out here last spring they weren't. They were fining people for coming to Cheddar just to sit in their vehicles and have an ice cream. They were fining people who come down just from Bristol for the day. They didn't. They were really, really strict. A thousand pound fine one woman got for eating an ice cream. You can get. You can also get prison sentences. And much bigger fines. I mean, ravers who were holding parties, they were getting £10,000 fines. Now, today, before I came out, I was listening a bit to the news. And it was saying, there's um, they're going to stop calling it the Indian variant or the Brazilian variant or French or whatever. Because they said it's discriminatory. They're going to bring in alpha, alpha, beta, zeta. So... It's to stop prejudice against certain groups of people. Because, I mean, apparently some people won't go in an Indian shop now and all that. But apparently this, at the moment, it's called Indian virus. It's actually viral. I mean, you know, literally, it is going sweeping through certain parts of the country already. And younger people it's going for. Young people are now starting to queue to get their jabs. Uh, none of my kids have had the jab yet. They do their regular testing, though. They're testing for COVID all the time, but they should really have the jab and get it over with. I mean, my granddaughter, she says, oh, it'll turn you all into zombies. You know, so. well, I've had mine. I'm still all right. Maybe my daughter Georgia should have it. it might solve all the problems for all we know. But, uh, yeah... 
I can't remember I got on that. Yeah, that, oh yeah, I couldn't come out. That's why I didn't come out last year. It was a it was a real big lockdown, they called it last year. Big lockdown. You definitely couldn't go on a... You weren't allowed on a bus or a train unless you were going to work or had some really, really good excuse. And now you see in June, they're supposed to be lifting all restrictions and letting everyone do what they want. But people are saying no. The doctors and all people like that are saying no, it's too soon. They can't cope the hospitals with what's coming through the door at the moment. They're nearly at breaking point already. I mean, no one mentions flu anymore. This has taken the place of flu. I normally have a flu jab every year, but there hasn't been a flu for them to develop the new virus, um, the new vaccine from. So we might be all getting boosters of, of well, I had Pfizer. I had two Pfizer jabs. And uh, it's supposed to give you 98% protection. And they're hoping it'll protect you from... OK, I'm using the Indian variant for now until I know if it's Alpha, Beta or Zeta. Right then, everyone, I'm going gently down these steps. I try and hold the camera a bit still. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any water down here. We have had rain, though. I don't. Re I, re I have been out here this year, you know. I reckon I have been out here. It's just because the another small video because it's lunchtime, so a lot of people might now be eating. I just come down the steps, past them some beautiful trees. I mean, look at this great big majestic tree here, isn't it beautiful? Great big tree, it's beautiful. Okay, so someone's bound to come and put the video on, haven't I? So I thought, well, I can take pictures in a minute. But look at all, look at it all. It's beautiful, isn't it? Going down to where a stream often runs, it looks dry from here. Now last year when I did, there was a point when I came out, but it wasn't bluebell time. But then everything was baked bone dry. We had those two big heat waves. And um, everything was bone dry. But when I came out earlier this year, it was lovely. It was gushing. The stream was gushing. It was beautiful. Look how lush it looks. This weird weather, believe it or not, has actually been quite good for the plants. For well, some of them anyway, they have thrived. Um, and we've got rain to come, so it's going to start raining tomorrow again. Look at it there, look at it. Just look at it, everyone. I've just come down from the steps there. The smell of garlic, like I said, it's absolutely... Well, you can taste it, you can smell it. You feel like you can see it, because the wild garlic is... So prominent, so prominent, little bluebells tinging, those little pink flowers just coming in now and again. Then you've got all the different mosses and lichens that you get here. You know, these trees can rot naturally, no one's coming in. They replace the soil, they replace nutrients to the soil. They provide habitats for insects. Yeah, mind you, don't forget, it's not summer yet, so basically there will still be water. Now look at that. What a lovely greeting, everyone. What a lovely greeting. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful place. Such a beautiful place. Uh, I just walk up this side of the bank for a little while. I don't usually. Don't think I've ever walked this far along here, but I might have done. All goes underground. And don't forget there's um, potholes here. It's a big caving system here. 
I mention it on every video, but just to remind myself as well, there's a big caving system here. Now look at this scene here, look if I go up through there. Man-made wall with water coming through. Look, this is where people, their children and dogs come. This is a dog haven here. And people just sit and soak their feet. And look, if you just look up there, just look up there. Look at that. Look at all that beauty, everyone. Lovely lime, the trees are all fresh. It makes you thirsty just listening to the water. I'm going to turn off a minute and I want to take some photos. Be back on in a minute.